I'm so excited to tell you all about this incredible new MacBook. The new MacBook weighs just two pounds. <laughs> yes. And even at its thickest point, it's just 13.1 millimeters thin. That's the thinnest Mac we have ever made as well. As you can see, the new MacBook is 24% thinner. Well, this is an all-metal enclosure. It has a full-size keyboard. It goes all the way to the edge. And it's not just any keyboard. It is an all-new keyboard. Customer typing on a standard keyboard. And as you see, as the keys get pressed, they're a bit wobbly. That's because they're based on a mechanism called a scissor mechanism. Now there's something new. Our team invented a butterfly mechanism. In fact, it's four times more stable than that scissor mechanism. We have now created a new lighting system for the backlight with an individual LED for each key as a 12-inch display with full edge-to-edge -edge cover glass. And to be beautiful, of course, it's a retina display. A retina display with 2304 by 1440 pixels. That's just over 3.3 million pixels. Next up, the trackpad. We call it the Force Touch Trackpad. It has a glass multi-touch surface, but built underneath it are four force sensors. And for the first time in a trackpad, our Taptic Engine. And for the first time, you can click anywhere and get the exact same feel over the entire surface. It's not hinged like a diving board. Those force sensors sense a range of pressure from your lightest click to a deeper press. And we've created a new gesture for those deeper presses. We call them a force click. For watching a movie in QuickTime or a video, you can press deeper on fast forward, and the deeper you press, the faster it goes. Let's put the logic board inside it. This is the logic board of the 11-inch MacBook Air. The device with the circular shape on the right, well, that's a fan with vent support. Well, the team designed this new MacBook with removing all fans and vents to make it the first fanless MacBook ever. Here's that logic board now without the fan. It's powered by an Intel Core M, fifth generation, 14 nanometer process. You can configure it with speeds up to 1.3 gigahertz, which can be turbocharged running up to 2.9 gigahertz. And yet all that performance just consumes five watts. It's incredibly energy efficient. So what do we do with the rest of that space? We fill it with batteries. <laughs> this uses Apple's asymmetric battery technology. You can see the cells are different sizes. But the team went so much further with the battery chemistry in this new MacBook. Traditional cells are rectangular, not only in the X and Y, but in the Z thickness as well. So what the team has done is amazing. It can be terraced with contoured shapes that fit the contours of the MacBook's enclosure. In fact, we can get 35% more battery within the same space by these new contoured cells. And that allows us to deliver all-day battery life in the new MacBook. Now, how do you connect with the world? The only intelligent vision of the future of the notebook is one without wires. We don't That's why we have both dual stream, 802.11ac, and Bluetooth 4.0 built in. We do have a port on here for power. And the team decided, if we're going to have a port on it, let's make the most versatile connector we've ever put in a notebook. And sure enough, they did. One connector supports USB data, display port, power, HDMI, VGA. The technology behind this is a brand new standard called USB-C, hashtag MacBook Lust. The new MacBook starts with 12.1 inch retina display, a 1.1 gigahertz Intel Core M, a large eight gigs of internal memory, and a large 256 gigabyte flash storage device at just $12.99 twice that internal storage for just $15.99. We'll begin to ship in a number of countries in just a month, April 10th. 